coming at you from Magician Lake in Southwest Michigan today with my main man, Jeremy Bunnell. Fishing a tournament put on by the Tackle Shack out of Middlebury, Indiana. I gotta tell you, we put a top five finish in today, but it was with the most unbelievable, let me rephrase, most pathetic five fish lemon I've ever achieved in my life. Yeah, and don't forget to get your straight up mount, Raging Cajun. Straightupmount.com. <laughs> uh, uh, whoa, look down below and get the promo code before you do. I'll save you a few bucks on that. Magician Lake is a very clear body of water. It's a small body of water, but it's got a good combination of large mouth and small mouth bass. Here we are on August 13th. The water temperature's hovering right around 80 degrees. It is the dog, really getting into the dog days of summer right now. So, I can tell you we didn't sit, catch a single small mouth bass. However, the big fish of the tournament was a small mouth bass. So we'll go through this here real quick. We, we actually had our limit about three hours in and we thought we were not doing all that well. Actually, we thought that all day long we weren't doing very well because the fish we catch is small. We expected 12 and a half, 13 pounds to win this tournament. Short. I like how chunky he is. A little heavy for size. What do you think? No. Nice of life up here, though. Yeah. yeah. And and working all day long. He's no good. This is uh, one of those lakes where I'm not going to do much until you... Uh... Say you get the net? Yeah. <laughs> We weighed 7.82 and first place had less than 10 pounds and nine and a quarter or nine and a half pounds something around there We caught a lot of fish early on with the butcher's baits Magnum trick worm. I've been using these all year long. I do believe the scent Makes a difference has made a difference for me all year long. I was definitely catching more than Jeremy who was throwing a different brand You don't feel very big be number two. Oh, that's Molly. See him jump. Oh, give me a blast, smallmouth bass. Give me a blast. Is yours fight like one, but no, oh, it's a large mouth. That's number two. The cash dang, you ever see a large mouth jump four feet up like that? That was fun. That was fun. That's what the scent does on a butcher's bait. Yeah, we got keeper number two. That's two keepers in the last five minutes on this worm. That's number four, dude, for sure. Yeah, he got smaller, but he yeah, he definitely shrank. He got through the boat, but I found a just fish past point, and we're mostly fishing weeds. I'd say that weeds are the key structure out here. Yeah, number four for the day. Number four? The problem is they're all small. The big one's only, the biggest is only 15 inches. Gosh darn wheel worm, I'll tell you what. That's what it is. He offers a variety of scents, and the scents I was using today were, a scent, was shad. I think a few of them were crawdad scent, most of them were wasted shad scent. Excess, all that stuff on there, and like, it just keeps it when you're... Dang, I thought for a split second, maybe. Hey, he's still kind of long, isn't he? Long and skinny? Long and skinny! I think that's going to be number five. I think it's number five. He went under the boats, but he was actually in between boats. But there are some sporadic weeds around these boats, so I don't know. It's, it, the forecast is not really conducive to dock fishing. 
the weeds for what we've been targeting. But it's, it's, oh, we got five keepers in two and a half hours or three hours, and they probably go for seven and a half pounds. So you start thinking about where else to get a better bite at. We also caught quite a few on crankbaits. There's one. Crankbait? Yep. How's it feel? Felt good at first. It might be a keeper. Yeah. Yeah. But now. Good old crankbait. He did it. Yeah, interesting, dude. That's didn't, well. didn't choke it, huh? Yeah, Jeremy come through. Well, for like 10 foot, he cast up shallower where it's kind of sporadic weeds. He had been cast up with two and three casts. Boom. Keeper number three for us. Using C Flash crankbaits, 38 cal and Magnum 44, both in the bluegill color scheme. We certainly tried to dock some, I, I do believe, honestly, the weights would have been better and we would have caught some better fish had the weather been more conducive to dock fishing. But we had some drizzle throughout the morning. It's been overcast virtually all day long. The sun might have come out for a total of 90 seconds throughout the day. Jeremy wants to add that maybe not come to Magician Lake in August is a really good idea. But we we are, we are surprised about how small the weights were. Uh, I tell you, I did not weigh, or see, I did not record the weigh-in. They didn't even take a picture because I thought a 7.82 pounds was nothing. But like I said, it was a top five finish against some very good fishermen on this body of water. Thank you for tuning in. Till next time, we'll see you on the water.